What up, junk people? It's Matthew Vick, and I got the JoJo Lena. And that is not our boat back there. You see that? <laughs> someone is paying for that boat to be here. Ain't that crazy? And also, someone was paying to keep all this junk in the storage unit. So, this is day three of lockdown in California. And we're out here still getting money. And we got two storage units to clean up. And uh, let us know down below in the comments how. This lockdown is affecting you guys in your area. And I'm gonna let Jojo talk to you guys for a second. Oh, I just, whoops, hold on. I find it hard to understand why people would pay every month to keep things that you couldn't even give away to the Goodwill. Like, what is the point of, oh, what's the point of that? Cray cray. Anyhow, it, it's okay because it keeps us busy and it gives us jobs and it gives us work. So. Um, let us know what you're doing and how uh, you're surviving the slowdown of the coronavirus. Or have you even slowed down? So let us know. We're going to get started. And guys, people, junk people, it's really important to get these storage units on the team. This is how you stay busy through drastic times. Because you never know what's going to happen in the world. So make sure you guys save your money, stack it, put it away, and get these contracts. And look at that boat. I might bring that home, babe. That's a classic. So yeah, we're about to get it done. Check this out. Filthy dirt bags. We're about to get to it, people. Stay tuned. So find of the day, dream vacation. We trying to go to Hawaii, baby. And I feel sorry for this little kid because I got your life savings, baby. Look at that, uh, we getting it. Oh yeah, getting that stripper money right now. Look at that. Bong chicka wow wow. Calling and bowling, baby. <laughs> Calling and bowling, baby. <laughs> What? We getting it. <laughs> Jojo. Huh? What? What are you doing? Cleaning out a storage unit. Well, you're digging in the trash bag to me. Well, yeah. <laughs> Look at this fine, guys. Oh, yeah. So you guys are catching me out of uniform right now. I never do this, but JoJo didn't wash the laundry for some reason. And I got mine on. That's on, a first, right? We've been on lockdown. <laughs> so, yeah, things you guys want to do when you guys are doing junk removal. We charge extra for anything that costs us extra. Like these tires right here. We will charge the customer. We got some washers and dryers at the other storage unit and also a refrigerator. So we upsell and charge money for those things. We don't do it per load. We do all the trash per load, but when it comes to appliances, anything that costs you extra, we charge. So keep that in mind if you're starting your business. That's how we do it out here in California. So I'm here with another customer, another happy customer guys, out here in Santa Rosa, California. Juanita, how would you rate our service? Oh, they were awesome. I mean, they came on time, fair price, and they were just awesome. I'm gonna leave them a five-star review for sure. I love the JoJo and Matt and Sonoma Strong Holland. Thank you, guys. Another happy customer, guys. 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? We're getting it done. You're laughing at me. Cause junk removal with you is so fun. Is it really? Yeah. We're so getting fun. it. So the real tip of the day, whenever you guys are cleaning up rat shit, buy one of these respirators when you guys are cleaning out stuff that has dust and rat shit and feces and all that kind of stuff. Get yourself one of these respirators from Home Depot. They work great. And look at the JoJo just getting it over there. Ah. On to number two. On to number two. On to number two. And the metal separated and the tires separated because we have to pay extra for the tire. So same day, different storage unit. And check this one out. It ain't that bad really. Not that bad at all. I gotta take this down. I guess I built this little stand thing. And yeah, this one ain't that bad. So we're gonna load it up and get it done. And for anyone with a drug problem out there, we got a book for you today. It works. How and why. N.A., baby. Stay sober. Now another great tool to have is some bolt cutters. These work great for fences, hot tubs, stuff like that. And stuff like this right here. I gotta take this down right here and uh... So we're taking this homemade shelf out that the person that was renting this thing out before put up. So yeah, we're gonna pull this out. Separate all the wood and do a metal run last. So we have one full load of garbage and then we'll have one load of metal. And we'll be done in about, what, a two hour job total? So the shelf is almost gone. And I forgot the drill at the house. So JoJo's doing it by hand with the Phillips. So first load is complete and the dumps is like a half a mile away, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Easy money. How was that, Jojo? You got pee, huh? I have to pee. I have to pee and people don't want you to use their bathrooms because of the coronavirus. They, so, wanna, they don't want to get the corona, Joni. I, Joni corona. <laughs> so, yeah, I just have to go to the bathroom. So I'm sitting in the truck. <laughs> So we heading on out. Oh yeah. So we back at my favorite place, people. It ain't a restaurant. It's the bank. And you know why I call it the bank, baby? Because you be making money. Because I know exactly how much profit I make. Oh yeah. So I was the winner. How does it feel that I was the winner? I feel like shit. I was the winner. I, I, said, I don't like losing. I said 135, it's 139. And what was the weight? The weight was- 2100. 2100, I got it, 2100. Winner! So we back at it, picking up all the metal, washers, dryers, refrigerator, and yeah. We're gonna load this up and go to the other storage unit and grab the rest of the metal out, out of that one. And uh, yeah. So this might be common sense to some people, but some people might learn something. So on these washing machines, how to load them up by yourself. Bring them all the way. Like this, drop it down, and then just put the lip on there, and then bam, easy money. 
That's how you guys do it. So I'll re repeat and do it again. Some washing machine. It's pretty heavy. Got some shit inside there. And, uh, show you guys again one more time. You're by yourself. Just drop it down all the way. Where you're on that lip right there. Pick it up. Load it up. No excuses. So unit number two is done. Well, unit 436 was a dirt bag. <laughs> he didn't pay his uh, bill. So yeah, we got a little bit more metal to pick up at the other one and uh, today ain't that bad, is it, JoJo? I don't know. We'll be done soon. We'll be good. So here's another tip of the day. Whenever you guys are working with your woman or your wife or your lady, Make a lot of noise when you guys are picking stuff up so they think you're working really hard. Like, ah, ah. Cause then when you go home, they'll take care of you better. Cause they think you worked hard. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> mm. I heard someone in here, I think. Seriously. Bueno. Okay, so we're done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> we're done for the day. Yeah, we are done for the day. It actually was a little bit bigger job than we had anticipated. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we thought we were just going to remove a couple of appliances from a storage unit, and it ended up being two full storage units. So that's all good. So don't forget to wash your hands for 20 seconds, guys, and wipe your ass. Yeah, take care. Hit that care. like and subscribe button. Yeah, hit the like and subscribe and wash your hands and stay safe. Oh, yeah. Bye.